So Declan, welcome along to Highland once again for our, our usual uh, regular chat about League of Ireland football, Premier Division action involving uh, Derry City and Finn Harps. Good to see you. Good to see you, Ashton. You're looking well. Ah, I mean, you're, you're looking <laughs> not too bad yourself, Declan. <laughs> well, listen, uh, from, a, from a Finn Harps point of view, they've had a difficult period coming up too. Matches in Dublin are always difficult, so they are away to Pats and away to Shamrock Rovers. Yeah, two difficult games for sure. So Pat's form at home has been excellent and Sham we know how the form the Shamrock Rovers are in as well. So two big games. Um difficult to get points a- a- away on the road, but especially up in Dublin as well. So it's gonna be difficult to get something out of the St. Pat's game on Friday night. Yeah. If you are gonna get something from St. Pat's, how's it gonna come about, do you think, Declan? Yeah, listen, in the Premier League so far this season has been very evident that the team that scores first um normally goes on to win the game and um, and that's that's crucial, especially away from home. So Hearts um, will have to score away from home, um, and our form away from home hasn't been good this season. So it's very hard to see that happening. But you know, you just never know in, in football, and you never know with Harps. Sometimes they can be just big results when needed. And against some Pats, they're obviously looking for a wee bit of, of, of luck, a, a big performance, and and maybe a, an underperformance by some Pats on the day as well it might help them as well. Some Pats, as we know, are pushing for Europe. Um, and they're in fourth place, eight points ahead of Slider Rovers, and they're up to, to get into third if possible and catch on Dock or Derry City. Yeah, and in relation to Harp's recent form, obviously you watched them against UCD in, in Dublin at the Belfield. That was one of our feature games this season, and they were on the wrong side of the result, but they bounced back after that brilliantly. So they did, and they had the break in the cup then last week. So maybe the break came at, at, at a bad time for Harps, did it, Declan? Yeah, listen, come back to the UCD one. I mean, we, we chatted about it, um, obviously live, but the first half performance was excellent against UCD. And then um, just the game kind of pulled, uh, went away from them a wee bit with the sending off and then the goal from Evan McCafferty and then just sat in a wee bit deeper at UCD and we just struggled to break them down. Um, and then you're thinking it's, it's a big turnaround and it's going to take a massive push now for, you, for Harps to get a big result. And then we had the, the local derby against Sligo Rovers and then a big performance and a 3-2 victory, um, which was, uh, you know, really pushed them two points ahead of UCD. So a big turnaround there in, in that game. And, uh, and it was an excellent performance against Sligo Rovers and well-deserved the three points. So, yeah, a week's rest will help uh, players that are picking up any injuries, um, gives them an, a, a extra week's rest. So you're looking at hopefully everybody fully fit and well. And we know Ryan Connolly is obviously missing Sapat's match after picking up two yellow cards against Lego Rovers. And he will be a big miss for sure. But there's a good replacements come in um, and we'll play against Sapat. So, so the conference should be good. Um, but you just never know in regards to how we're going to perform. You know, it's been very up and down in the season and we're producing good performances. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Good performance against UCD. Didn't get the points. A really good performance against Lego Rovers and got three points. So now... Can they go to St. Pat's and get something out of the game? And a draw would be a big result for us. Yeah, draw would be a good point on the road. Just touching on UCD again because Declan, we know we have to play them in the the second last game, isn't it? The penultimate game at home. That could be probably the most important fixture of the season. Come uh, come that stage of the campaign. Yeah, listen, it's going to be an exciting running for sure. Um, we know we have nine games left, um, and they'll come break uh, very very fast. Obviously, five away, uh, four at home. Um, we have UCD, as you say, second last match of the season. And what's what you want to do in that circumstance is you want to make sure that you're you're ahead of them, or uh, at least you have a chance of going and, and leapfrogging them, bringing them to the last game of the season, which is a way to draw the United, which is not a bad game to we have last match of the season um, with, with all to play for. But yeah, listen, we, we have to make sure we start picking up more points and try to put a bit of distance between ourselves and UCD. Um, we know they had a big result in the FAI Cup away to Galway, 3-2 victory for them. So they're still in that. So that's actually a good um, for Harps because they're playing more matches and they might pick up injuries and suspensions as well. So it might have a, a negative effect on, on them and the performance and results. But and it's about Harps and, and what we do. Um, and obviously, we need to start picking up points along the way. But a home farm is probably their best uh, um, blessed opportunity to go and, and win and get three points. Yeah, as we head to the final nine games... We've got two points ahead of UCD at the bottom, current in the playoff spot, Declan. Mm-hmm. Would you be confident that Harpswell will continue to hold that position? <laughs> um, difficult one. Um, you know, it's you're thinking that the experience that both the management have and the players have, and um, you know, we have that experience of being here before, um, and that will help us um, in, in the, the running of the difficult match we have ahead of us. Um, that should help for sure. You need a run of 
of not picking up injuries and making sure that your best players are available and are playing to their maximum ability on the pitch and that, that's going to be crucial um so suspensions will play a part in that and, and picking up yellow cards and sending offs could could have a detrimental effect going forward um for some of the bigger games for sure but yeah listen there's no doubt about it um it's going to be exciting for the fans um it's going to be nerve-wracking it's never easy with when I mean, you're a fan harp supporter for sure and, and so it's going to be a really exciting running and i'm looking forward to it actually um but what's what we need to make sure is that we avoid the relegation and give ourselves an opportunity um in the playoffs which won't be easy either with obviously cork galway um longford wexford um, and the teams around there are very good opposition so um but it'll be difficult but at least you have a chance uh, of staying up um, and the experience that we've learned over the last four or five years in regards playoffs will help us um hopefully yeah uh, were you surprised by mark Gantney mcginley's departure this week declan um listen i suppose it happens invariably um i suppose you're looking at it from um, point of view mark's been a good servant for the club the last four or five years has been good performances um and obviously um the new keeper came in and he was given the first choice and so mark i thought it was time to move on and i suppose it's part and parcel of football and i don't see him closing the book on, on harps and maybe he'll come back in a later time and, and we wish him well going to larry kind of Okay, then moving away from Fun Harps, Derry City playing UCD uh, this coming Friday night. Uh, Derry back in the second in the table. So it's second against bottom. You would expect Derry playing at home to take the points in this one, would you, Declan? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the last time they played up in the Burnley, well, I think uh, Derry won very comfortably and scored a lot of goals as well. So, yeah, listen, Derry are in good form. Um, they've got a, a late winner against Shelburne during the week, a big deflection, um, and got them three points again. And, you know, they're looking to close that gap against Shamrock Rovers and try to push away from Dundalk and with them wanting getting three points against um Shelburne up in Dublin, Dundalk losing to Sligo Rovers as well. That 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 helped. It's a big victory for them coming so late. So they'll make sure the momentum's going forward for Derry City. They'll be pushing hard to get to secure that second spot um and, and try to push Shamrock Rovers as, as far as they possibly can to, to get the first position. Um, but yeah, listen, I'm expecting Derry City with the squad of players they have, the form that they're currently in, I'm expecting them to get three big points, um, which will obviously help um, Finn Harps as well. And that's invariably, if we can get something out of the game, I don't see UCD getting three points or, or even getting a point up in that brand new one. So if we can get something out of the game, it'll, 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 it'll add to us and push a bit more distance between us and UCD. Uh, obviously, Sligo taking the points against Dundalk helped Derry. Dundalk will be looking for a response in their match uh, against Shelburne now this weekend but can can shelburne go to oriel and cause problems can Damien duff say pick up points there yeah they've they've been very good away from home um their performances have been good um away from home they've, they've beaten the top teams um so i i don't you know dundalk had a poor performance against like rovers overall um you know bad result 2-0 as well away from home the players sent off early early in the game didn't help them with their, their cause um the 23rd minute um but They'll be looking obviously at home. They've been good at home. Um, they've got big results at home, but so has Shelby been very good away from home. And, and they've sat in and it'd be difficult to break down. And they've had teams in the counter attack and they've done really good performances and got a lot of points so far away from home. So uh, that's not a done deal. Um, Dundalk might just scrape through that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if Shelby get a result out of that game. Yeah, and uh, also on Friday night, uh, Bohemians against Shamrock Rovers. Uh, there's this European distraction for, for Shamrock Rovers. Is this a good time? For Bowes to meet Shamrock Rovers because there's always huge rivalry between between these two clubs. And in saying that as well, Declan, maybe if we go knock on to, to Sunday week uh, when Van Harps go to the Tallis Stadium to play Shamrock Rovers. During a European campaign, is it a good time to meet opposition? I think it is. I think it is, especially if the European uh, adventure is away from home rather than home. So they're, they've got a travel involved. It means they have more games, a higher intensity. When you have higher intensity games, you, you end up uh, picking up more injuries from the, uh, the squad point of view. So as well as that, a lot of the squad that the Shamrock Rovers have, which is very strong, but it means as well that with European games they might rotate players uh, in and out and, and rest some of their better players. Um, you know they're in a really comfortable position in the league. Um, they have the squad, they have the quality, but definitely European games. It's very difficult for the uh, from coming back from a European game to get motivated for. Um, the Premier Division matches, even though they've done it so far, but you can be unlocked by by some games. And and Bowes are looking obviously a big derby, as you say, massive rivalry between the supporters and the clubs. Keith Long uh, getting the sack as well this week has added a bit more uh, 
I suppose a bit more kind of flavour to the to the actual match because they're they're obviously have no manager, so they'll be looking for a response and and, and um, push Shamrock Rovers and, and try to get something out of that game as well. So yeah, it's, it's a big game for for both uh, clubs um, in both sense coming back from Europe and obviously with uh, Bowes losing the manager, Keith Long. So the players will be looking to get a response and and show them that you know they are a good team and they have good players and, and losing the manager hopefully won't have a negative effect on their performance. One other tie to be played on Saturday, Sligo Rovers taking on Drogheda United, Declan. Uh, I suppose Sligo were enjoying their European experience and it's back to that point, what happens when you go out of Europe and how you respond. It's sort of been a, a rocky road for Sligo, but they had that one against Dundalk. Is it, will they be looking now to build now over the next number of weeks and uh, and build in that result against Dundalk and start picking up points again? Yeah, that's, that's what they're going to have to do. I mean, John Russell is uh, fully aware that, that that's... He needs to get results. Um, there's eight points between them and St. Pat's, and that St. Pat's are sitting in fourth, so Sligo Rovers are in fifth. So they need to get points to close that gap um, and hopefully secure maybe a fourth uh, spot and, and maybe a keen European spot because they had an unbelievable experience with Europe this year. It was great for the club, great for the players, great for the supporters. And um, and what it does is it kind of... Um, Wet your appetite for to get it uh, year after year. It also helps your budget for the following year. You have a bigger budget to work off, so you can bring in better quality of players. So, yeah, they'll be pushing for Europe. Um, you know, the, there's a lot of games to play still, a lot of points to be played for, and, and you know, some pats uh, are in the driving seat um, at the moment over Sligo Rovers in regards to points and where they sit on the table. But um, Sligo will need to start winning games and getting four or five matches back to back and i suspect that they'll get three points at home to draw united on, on saturday night because just the simple fact draw to have been great away from home they've been better at home and slide open into a wee bit of form as well okay Declan, we wait to see how the results pan out over the course of the friday and saturday in the league of ireland premier division as always thanks for joining us thanks to my